like to show you what a large zoom lens on a projector means and also what kind of advantages that we can create with the lens shift. So right now the screen that you see is 135 and I go larger a little bit at the edge of the screen. So it is probably 137 inch ish. So let's dial the zoom in and get a smaller image. Right now, the size of the screen is about 80 inches. We can use it as a TV. Amount of brightness increased hugely. So definitely, this could be a usable scenario for a TV settings. And if I want to go big, like a cinema settings, I can go. I can go back and forth in a very short time. So that makes this projector both can be usable for a TV daily basis and then for a projector for cinema purposes. That's one of the advantages. Let's take a look at the lens shifting and what, what that does mean truly. I am right now moving the screen on to the right side. As you can see, I am moving very close to the one meter. Nearly the curtains are all the way lit and I'm going to turn the dial onto the left and it will be going left, as you can see. Right now, this is a manual projector. This is one of the budget ones. So this is the left as much as I can go. By the way, if you project from far distances, that then you can uh, probably move a little bit further because further you go, probably amount of movement will be happening a little bit more. The uh, Going up and down, what does that mean? Let me just show you. When you go up, you can think a bit like, why do you need that? You might have a certain uh, low tables that you put the projectors on and you leave it there so you can uh, project upwards without moving the projector like an angle of 35 degrees. And if I can lower the screen, just like you see here, near the TV unit is, as you can see, a surface right now. Let me just get back to the perfect positioning. Right now, the end of the screen is matching the screen. Let me just get in front of the camera and talk to you about this. You know why this is important? Because when you watch a huge screen, it's like being right in front uh, on the front seat of a cinema. So most of the time, you don't buy a ticket from right on the front. You just buy from in the middle, just uh, in the middle grounds or somewhat of a little bit of upwards to uh, see the screen in an eye level, ideal eye level. Once you have a big screen on a regular couch like me or regular home setup, if this is not a custom uh, cinema cave style, uh, you know, the seats are leveled from one to another, that's another topic. But if you're going to use it in the home, just like me with a regular seat height, so lowering the screen will get you perfect eyesight, one of the advantages. And the second thing is, Ultra short throws tend to project, they need to project from very short distance. So they project with 40, 45 degree style angle. And when you pull them back to create 135 or 40 inch images like this, you go way back like 50 centimeters from the screen. And when you do that, the starting point of the visual will be like this. So the screen will go higher like 30, 40 centimeters from the ground level of a TV level, like TV unit level normally. So that means you're going to be looking a little bit of upwards. That's not ideal positioning for a long time. So this setting will create an um, image for your perfect eye level and you can adjust it. That's how great it is. I just want to mention that against the ultra short throw projectors.